88.5 WQOX. It is the best jams with Brother John. John wants to make sure everyone's happy with the work. He always puts his very best into everything he does, from the radio work that he's doing to the TV production work that he's doing. His ability to use uh, different means of communication uh, to advocate for the district, to advocate for kids, uh, certainly makes him a very influential figure in our community. I went to a college called Tennessee Tech in Cookville, Tennessee. I played basketball for four years. Uh, from there, I got drafted as the 36th pick for the New Jersey Nets, and that's when I, my whole life changed. He lived his first life uh, in pro basketball, which was influential by itself. And then he got to come back and follow his dream of the broadcasting aspect. 88.5. WQOX. We're very proud of John for being uh, named one of the most 100 influential people right here in Memphis by the interesting and influential 100. Our TV station and our radio station is not just a regular TV, TV station and radio station. It's actually a um, career and technical education program for Shelby County Schools. So it's really a school. So John does a lot of coaching, um, individual coaching with the students when they're doing their hands-on practices at the radio station. We're live in three, two, my name is Vermont. Superintendent told me this. He said, what you're doing for 50 students a day, you could be doing for 50,000 students a day. So I feel like I'm still teaching, but on a grander scale. When kids see his passion, um, it's infectious. I'm gonna let them you know, share the airwaves with me because everywhere I go, I want a student. John's story is special because he's been at the very top, at the pinnacle. Can you imagine leading a country in scoring? You know, only the great ones do that, but yet and still he was great, but he's still now finding time to give back. My dream is to work as hard as I can and influence as many people as possible to show that we all in this thing together, black, white, brown, red, all of us in Shelby County Schools to be the number one school district in the country. That's my dream.